fall into that same sort of line? Because I think, what, he just got fed up with it, or what happened there? He can do whatever the fuck he wants. <laughs> <laughs> he can. He can oh. definitely do that. Uh, so, get right. We, we look ahead at the series as well. Um, usually, we usually see more antics out of Fnatic, if you will. They come around. They're trying to knife people, get R8s out. Do you think that they showed up at the server today ready to respect you guys in game? Uh, I think every time we play each other, it's always going to be a close series, no matter what. And uh, I mean, they got a couple of knives there and there. <laughs> Uh, but um, in the end, you know, it's um, it's just a Swedish derby and uh, it's a Swedish El Clásico, you know, like it's just a fun game. I think it's uh, nice for all the fans to watch and it's nice for us to play it as well. I mean, the last couple of years now even <laughs> hasn't gone the way like we wanted, but um, it was nice to break it, I guess, in a way. Uh, but, um, you know, one step at a time. Get right, there are parallels to be drawn between both your rosters in, in, in the terms of, you know, bringing the band back together and, and, and you know, uniting what's, what was once the best in the world for you and Fnatic. Uh, from you personally, what is the hardest part of this dig roster? What is the hardest part of bringing everyone back together and still maintaining success? Um, it's to get everyone on board, I think. It's more getting everyone on the same page and more... <sighs> I don't know. I think it's it's a little bit more on my shoulder in a way because um, I I just want to perform and I just want to play well with my team and I think it's just nice for me individually because now I'm taking over. It's about me, but um, to be with people I love and care and see as family and uh, I think that's just shown because in the end it's like no matter how bad a game can go, like we did against NFP the other day. Uh, or the other week, uh, we just like not, you know, drop down there and just like, ah, this sucks, you know, just give up. And yeah, blah, 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 been here blah. before, I guess. Uh, yes and no, because no in that regard, putting it back the band together basically after so many years from each other is not an easy task, you no. know, and that's why I already said in the pre interview, you know, things gonna take time. And I mean, this was a small victory for us today. Tomorrow, maybe we lose again. I, I don't know. Like, it's going to take time. We just have to be positive and just stay stay on the road, basically. Just look ahead. Because if we, like, stop doing that, then it's not going to be any dig roster anymore. It's true. Harry, what do you got from that? Uh, you got yeah, not much time. Yeah, yeah. I, I was just wondering, you know, obviously, since you guys were under, like, the, the net banner and now rejoining for dig, uh, you know, obviously, for people like Exist and Freiburg, they spent some time in other teams, right? And, and I'm, I'm just wondering, is that something that you guys have looked to try and draw some experience from? You know, do you think a bit of a, a, bit of a hiatus from the old days has been helpful, or do you think that's something that maybe holds you back? I'm not really understanding the question. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so so because because like you know, it, obviously like exists went to uh, had some time in phase and Fnatic, right? And then you had like Freiburg as well to go uh, against that heroic squad. Have they like bought some some ideas and some like fresh perspectives with them for you guys? Oh, for sure. I mean, even Hulsark is putting in uh, a couple of few ideas, and even Fifline, who has been gone from the scene for such a long time, you know, like I think it's good for at least for me to be uh, like. They step on my foot or feet all the time because like I feel like I need to renew myself and I think everyone needs to renew themselves in their own aspect. Uh, so being far from each other in a way and then play together again and seeing what we learned through the years from each other, it, it helps us like a lot. Um, and you know, it's it's gonna take time, but uh, it's it's fun. It, it, it's a project, and obviously there there is a family vibe there. Chris, I would love to have you on for much longer. We got this Astralis Vitality game. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans that have been uh, supporting this big project? Um, thank you, and I uh, hope you continue doing it because it means the world to me personally and for the guys because if it wasn't for you, then this wouldn't probably be happening. Yeah, and I can, I can see that, man. Congratulations. Big W there today for you guys. We'll see you around, Mr. Get Right. Take